Hey guys, welcome back to VoiceOver Pro. There you go, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is on iOS 14, setting up image recognition. So let's get started, guys. First off, head into settings. Settings, one new item. Settings. Head down to accessibility. App Store button. Prime batter. Exposure note. Emergency face ID. Siri insert. Wallpaper. Accessibility button. Accessibility features. Double tap. Now head to voiceover. Vision. Voiceover on button. Double tap. Voiceover on. Voiceover speaks items on the screen. And now we're we're swiping to the right. Until we get to tap up, learn more. Let voice speaking rate six speaking speak speech, but braille, but voiceover recognition button. Okay, guys, once you get to voiceover recognition, double tap that, and we're gonna have to download a file. And it's not that big, it's around a hundred and something uh, megabytes, so it's doable for those that have 64 and plus. Um some of these features might not be included on older iphones all right guys so let's continue using my device intelligence your iphone will automatically improve your accessibility of apps images and text okay. voiceover recognition should not be relied upon in circumstances where you could be harmed or injured in high-risk situations for navigation or for the diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition all right, guys, you heard that's a warning. And what is Voice over recognition, heading, you image descriptions, on, button. Okay, you turn on your image descriptions. I have them on already. Your iPhone will speak descriptions of images in apps and on the web. Screen recognition, off, button. Your iPhone will automatically make apps more accessible by recognizing items on the screen. Screen recognition off button. So you turn this one on. Screen recognition off. Screen screen recognition off. 12.8 megabyte required. Dimmed. Screen recognition off. Dub on. All right, guys. That was 12 megabytes for that one, but for the image is 100 and something megabytes. 14.9 megabyte views. Dimmed. Your iPhone will automatically improve the accessibility of apps that have no accessibility information, such as identifying the state of buttons or toggles, and by grouping related items together. In other apps, screen recognition can be accessed through the rotor. All right, guys, you have other options to access it through the rotor also. Let's keep moving. Apply to apps button. Apply to apps button. Apply to heading. 1800 flowers button apply to heading apply to apps heading that's it they got screen recognition back button vertical scroll bar whatsapp button rose one hunt screen recognition back button screen all right now apply to apps button i was just checking that menu you could check certain apps you don't want and certain apps you do but let's go back. Your iPhone will automatic 14 screen recognition, screen recognition, heading, voice over recognition, back button, voice. Text recognition, your iPhone will screen recognition on button. See, now we have that text, uh, that screen recognition on. Let's move on to text recognition. This should be already on by default, but if it's not, let's go ahead and activate it. Your iPhone text recognition on. Your iPhone will speak descriptions of text found in images. Feedback style. Play sound button. Okay, this is a feedback for uh, some pictures might be um, uh, mature content or stuff like that or vulgar comments. So you could have a sound play or you could let it uh, speak the description. I would put options for voiceover recognition. Output options for voice feedback style. Play sound button. Speak. Selected. Play sound. Do nothing. Determines the feedback provided by voiceover recognition when active. Determines that do selected. Play sound. You can have it speak or play the sound. I like the sound. It gives you a quick sound and lets you know it's about to describe something to you. Okay. Speak. Feedback style, heading, voiceover recognition, back button, voice. 
output options for voiceover recognition. Output up feedback style. Play sound. Output options for voiceover recognition. Output options feedback. Your iPhone will speak to script text recognition. On. So now let's just make sure. Toggle toggle setting. Now let's make sure we have them all uh, on. Your iPhone will screen recognition. On. Button. Your iPhone will image descriptions. On. Button. Using my device intelligence, your iPhone will automate image descriptions. On. Image descriptions. On. Indicate if an image may contain sense. Do not play sound. Selected. Speak. Sensitive. Your iPhone will 145.5 megabyte used. Dimmed. This is of uh, the size of the image recognition file so once you're in here once you want to activate it you come in here and you turn it on you will get the message that indicates how much uh megabytes it is and you swipe to the right for other options like your iphone will speak to sensitive content output heading for sensitive content okay and let's swipe to the right and explore selected speak play sound do nothing Indicate if an image may contain sensitive content. Indicate if an image may contain sensitive content. Okay, guys, and that's pretty much it. Voice over recognition. Back button. And here's another nifty uh, trick for all you guys that waited to the end of the video. And it's barely implemented in iOS 14. And for those that subscribe, thank you. More videos are coming soon. Also, some of my videos contain amazon affiliate links for anybody that wants to check out their deals and other stuff like that and it helps out the channel and thank you guys so last tip guys let's say we're all the way in here right we're in this menu so we're so far deep into our settings so what about we want to go back to the first page what do we do this is a new feature check it out voice over recognition back button all right we double tap and hold Voice over recognition button. You see that? That's where we're at. But we could go swipe to the right. Voice over button. Accessibility button. Settings button. Yeah, accessibility settings. So we double tap that. Dismiss context menu. Settings button. Settings heading. Okay, now we're back to the main settings button. Yeah, so now we're back onto the main settings. Search. Search field. And that's the unique trick of iOS 14 that you can skip back pretty pretty fast to the pages that you need to go to instead of scrolling and scrolling and hitting back and back. Okay, guys, um, thank you for joining me on VoiceOver Pro and to the subscribers. More videos coming too, guys. So just, um, just be looking out. All right, guys, I'm out.